I think good care is all about professionalism. Uh, having a, a, a home which is well run, uh, efficient and professional, but of course it needs to be delivered in a way which is courteous, uh, offers plenty of dignity and takes into account the individual needs of the residents. So it's personal care and uh, a place where people are, are made to feel that this is their home, um, uh, that they fit in and that their individual uh, tastes and likes are catered for. And if you've got a combination of the good clinical care plus the personal touch, that's usually a very good care home. There has been some bad press, unfavourable press, about care homes generally. Uh, and I think people uh, have no experience of, of what good care should look like. Um, they've never bought into care in the past, so it's largely an unknown um, factor. However, um, we do have a care sector regulator called the Care Quality Commission, and they are there to inspect and assess independently of the provider, and they're there to ensure that there is consistency of care um, and high standards. And that's reassuring for many people. However, it's also very good news that a responsible provider, and I'm thinking about Colton Care here, will go one or two or three steps further than that. It's not just about doing what's necessary, it's doing what's best, uh, best for the resident in every case. So I think the, the clinical care and the facilities and the standards and the consistency is one thing, but it's going stages further so that residents feel that they really belong um, and that they are catered for and looked after in the best possible way. And I think that's the ideal solution. I think one of the first questions is, is the care tailored to the individual? Are they allowed to feel like the person they've always been and always want to be? And then how is that care delivered? So uh, what's the training uh, for the team that, that looks after them? Um, what do the other um, parents and relatives of other residents think? And it's worth canvassing their opinion to make sure everybody is happy and content and satisfied with the care that's given. But it's, for me, it's about catering for those individual tastes as much as anything. Of course we take good clinical care for granted, or we should, and training is important there for staff. But what about the dietary uh, preferences of the residents? Uh, can that be catered for? What about their interests? What's going to be provided activity-wise to stimulate them? Um, how will they mix with other members in that community? Um, is there a personal touch to their bedroom? Um, and of course, relig religious beliefs and practices, uh, they might bring those with them to the care home and that shouldn't be um, forgotten either. That's important to many people. But I think, look at the whole team structure. Um, how are people trained? Is it a cohesive unit? Is everybody in the care home and their relatives happy?